Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna paint a puppy face with color pencils. So today we're gonna draw a little golden retriever puppy. We have an assortment of colored pencils here. We have some yellows and oranges and browns and black. Just all the colors we'll need. We also have Sharpies and pencils. And are you ready to start? Yeah. Super, okay, so we're gonna start by drawing on our puppy with our mechanical pencils first. So we're gonna start with the head. I want you to pick a spot kind of in the center and just draw a little dot at the top. That's gonna to be the top of the head and try to make it right in the middle. Yeah. And from there, that's gonna be the center of our little half circle for the top of the puppy's head. So just draw a curved line for the top of the head. Oops. And if your pencil breaks, that's okay. Good. I know we can always adjust these lines and make them better later or erase them as needed. Now we're gonna draw the sides of the face and we're gonna make the same shapes of lines as the top of the head, but going sideways on the side of the face. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna make a little space between these two points and I'm gonna draw a curved line swooping down like that. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now you try. Good. Now to connect the two in the bottom, we need to make it the shape of a dog's mouth. So I'm gonna make, oh, you're gonna laugh, like the shape of two little butt cheeks. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, or how about, this is more wholesome, we'll make it the shape of a W. Yep. A little W. <laughs> and I'm just gonna kind of adjust my lines so they're the same size. That looks great. Now for the ears, I'm gonna touch my pencil to the top of the ear and I'm gonna start a little higher than where our curved line was, okay? So right here. And I'm just gonna do two little curves to the side like that to mark the top of the ear. Why don't you add yours? See, those are the tops of the ear. And they start just above your curve. Uh -huh. Now, to mark the bottoms of the ears, the ears don't usually go below the head. So I'm gonna just draw a little dot next to the bottom of the mouth to represent the bottom of the ear. And that's where we're gonna bring our lines to, the, to meet. Okay, so let's start by connecting that dot up to the cheek, like that. Good. And then we're going to make an angle, so almost like the, t the side of a triangle, going from the bottom dot right here all the way up and making a curved triangle and letting it touch the top of the ear like that. I'm gonna do that on both sides. Like kind of a little round. Yeah, rounded triangles. And there we have our puppy ears. Very good. Now for the tongue. I want you to make a U shape for the tongue, starting on either side of your little W shape. And you just make a U shape and there's your dog's tongue. <laughs> and then just draw a little line in the center. Like kissing you. Cute. And then we just need to add the bottom of the mouth. So behind the tongue, we're gonna have a half circle that's hidden by the tongue. And hold your paper steady with your other hand so it doesn't slide away from you. It's looking so good, Ansley. Thank you. Wow. Now for the nose. I like to think of it as a heart shape, but without the bumps on the top. So we're gonna almost make it like a triangle slash heart shape, but without the bumps, it's just gonna be smooth across the top, like that. Oh, very nice. Now for the eyes. The eyes are gonna be pretty close to the side of the head. In fact, I'm gonna say you can put them right next to that top line of the cheeks. And so we're gonna start with a circle 
make it a fairly large circle because puppies have pretty big eyes. And then you can draw a little eyebrow coming up to make it look extra cute. Notice how I point the eyebrows upward towards the center of the head. Well, other way, otherwise he looks angry. <laughs> Uh-oh, <laughs> we have an angry puppy. There you go. Okay, so make it go from the left side of the eye pointing up towards the forehead. That's it, so cute. And then later when we go back in with the Sharpie, we'll fill that in. If you wanna leave a little highlight, white, you can. And that'll make it look even more real. We're also gonna leave a highlight in kind of a curvy rectangle shape on the top of the nose. And the rest of it will fill in black, okay? So the head is done, are you ready to draw the body? For the body, start right between the ear and the cheek, okay? And you're gonna do a curved line swooping down like that. Good, let's do the same thing on the other side. And there it is. Already you've got the body. Look at that. Nice. Now let's just draw a little curved line in between the legs. And that's where the belly is going to be. Make sure to leave spaces for the legs. Good. And then we'll start about halfway between the bottom of the belly and the head. And I can put little dots there first to help you see where those go. <laughs> That's where the top of the legs are going to start. It's kind of like a smiley face. Yes, it does look like a smiley face. But it's helpful to just put dots so we know where to start, right? <laughs> now we're going to connect those dots and swoop all the way down and draw a curvy shape, almost like a kind skinny of, candy cane. Kind of like... Okay, now we just need to connect this line to finish the foot. And I'm just curving it out like that so the foot's a little fatter. See how they look like socks? <laughs> Give it as a sock shape. Good. <laughs> Cute little puppy socks. And then you can just add little curved lines. I'm going to add two lines. One, two on each foot. And those are the toes. And then for the hind leg, I'm just going to do a half circle that represents the back leg because he's sitting just on one side. Dogs kind of sit on half of their butt sometimes, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Silly dog. Silly puppy. And then we're going to draw the little toes sticking out. So another little half circle right underneath that one with toes. And that's the back foot. Good. And then on the other side, because we don't want it to look like he only has three legs, we'll draw the little toes sticking out on the other foot, too. <laughs> okay. Should we give him a tail? Yeah. yeah. So how about on this side, kind of sticking out, we'll just do a little tail. There we go. My, my tail is good. My puppy's tail is going to be really long. He's so cute. I think we're ready to Sharpie. All right, so grab your Sharpie and let's outline our puppy. And this is where you can fill in the nose and the eyes with your black and avoid the highlights and fix any lines if you're not happy with them before we go in and color. And I'm using the Sharpie to fill in the eye black right away. I'm just adding shading so it looks like he's on the ground, sitting somewhere. And I'm just erasing all the pencil lines. Awesome. Are you ready to color? Yep. 
All right, I have some colored pencils here. I have Prismacolor pencils. That's just the set I have, but of course you can use any pencils and any colors you want. And I think we'll start with this sand color. And golden retrievers are kind of yellowish orange in color, aren't they? So that's why I picked all of these colors. So let's go ahead and fill him in with the sand color first. We're just gonna make his whole body that color, except for the tongue. What color is the tongue gonna be? <laughs> Pink. Yeah. I'm gonna teach you a new word. The new word is contrast. Do you know what contrast is? Yeah, it's when it's how light or how dark it is. Wow, good job, yes. So contrast is when you have a variety of light and a variety of darks in your drawing or painting. And the more contrast you have, meaning the darker darks and the lighter lights you have, the more realistic it looks. If you have something that's all the same, value as far as lightness or darkness, it just it looks flat and unrealistic. So right now they look pretty flat, don't they? They look like cartoons. So we're gonna add some contrast. It would be good to start with something dark, right? So I'm going to start by filling in some shadow on the tongue. You know, when, the, when your hand hovers over the paper, you can see there's a shadow and the white of the paper just looks darker. And so underneath, our puppy, his tongue is in the shadow because his mouth is hanging over it. So I'm just adding a shadow with my black colored pencil and I'm gonna add a little shadow under the ears too. You can add little curls. Or you could add a shadow. Good job on those shadows. And then I'm gonna use this one, it's a Sienna Brown and I think you have one too to darken up the color on the golden retriever. We're trying to add more contrast to our drawing. And so I'm gonna color a lot darker in his belly. Why would I do that? Is the sunlight hitting his belly? No. No, it's in the shadow. So I'm making it darker in the belly and under the toes where the sunlight isn't quite reaching. And this is what you call shading. We're adding shading or shadows to our drawing to make it look really realistic. Nice shading on the belly. You can make the background however you want. And the nice thing about colored pencil is there's no mess. pink for the tongue and make it really bright. So press a little harder and put your pencil strokes close together so you're filling in all the white of the paper. And then if you want to add contrast to the tongue, you can take a darker red. I'm going to go even darker with my shadow under the puppy just so it really looks like a shadow. You can use any paper for this project. It can be printer paper. We're using a Strathmore mixed media paper, size six by eight, but it doesn't have to be watercolor paper because yeah. colored pencil you can pretty much use on anything. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and hit subscribe notifications. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.